This video provides an overview of the Sim Biology Desktop in MATLAB R 2012A. To open the Sim Biology Desktop, type Sim Biology at the MATLAB prompt. The Sim Biology Desktop is an interactive environment that lets the user manage Sim Biology projects and libraries to support model building and analysis. Sim Biology projects encapsulate models, analysis tasks, and datasets into one convenient package. Libraries are available to all projects and are not part of any one project. The desktop is loosely divided into three sections, the tool strip, the navigation area, and the main component area. The tool strip contains the home tab, which provides options for creating a new project or adding a model or task to the current project. It also provides options to modify the same biology environment preferences. Any changes made to the same biology environment variables are applied to all projects. To open an existing project, click the Open icon from the Home tab and navigate to the file location. Same biology project files have the .sbparj extension. The same biology project contains a model, two tasks, and a dataset. To add models, tasks, and data to the project, click on the corresponding Add button in a Home tab. We can also add a component by creating a copy of an existing component. To view or modify a project component, double-click on it in a project page. The selected component opens in the main component area. Notice the appearance of the contextual tab model. The model tab provides options to act on the model such as changing the view, copying and pasting, adding and running tasks. For example, we can change the view of the model to the diagram view. Once again, notice the additional contextual tabs, block, and tools that appear when the diagram view is selected. The contextual tabs in the tool strip provide convenient access to common tasks that need to be performed on the content of the main component area. In many cases, these actions can also be accessed via context menus. Use the right click to open context menus. In addition to the contextual tabs and context menus, the button next to the address bar provides additional options. Typically, these are the less frequent or less common tasks. The selections in that button are also context specific and change depending on what is displayed in the main component area. For example, when a model is selected, the available actions include renaming the model and exporting the model to various formats. For example, we rename the model to antibacterial model. Just below the tool strip is the address bar which shows the breadcrumbs to the current location in the project. You can use the breadcrumbs to navigate back easily. Alternatively, the right and left arrows allow navigating back and forth between the pages that were previously viewed. A third way of navigating to a different project component is through the content button. Just like the project page, the content button displays the content of the project, but it also gives access to libraries, which are presented by the book icon in this list. They provide access to information such as kinetic laws, units, plot types, blocks, and more. Symbology comes with built-in libraries, but also allows users to add new libraries. Clicking on any item opens it in the main component area. For example, I can open a sensitivity analysis task. So far, we have seen that components open in the main area. Symbology provides access to additional desktop tools that can be docked into the desktop. For example, the component palette in the task tab is a desktop tool. We can drag and drop components into the sensitivity analysis task. All the desktop tools are available through the Tools drop-down list in the Home tab. This video focuses on the Sim Biology desktop. Sim Biology also provides a programmatic interface to create and analyze models. The MATLAB Code Capture tool, which is one of the desktop tools, records your desktop actions as a script of MATLAB and Symbiology commands. Refer to the documentation for more information on Symbiology's programmatic interface. 
Finally, to save the project, click on the Save icon in the Home tab or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl S. Alternatively, you can click on a Save icon in the Quick Access Bar in the right top corner. The Quick Access Bar contains tools that need to be accessed frequently. In addition to the Save button, it has the Navigate To button to navigate to a page by entering its name, the Search button to find specific keywords in the models, and the Help button to access the documentation and demos. To close the project, click on Close in the Home tab, which brings us back to the Quick Start window. This concludes the demonstration. Try some of these new features now in MATLAB or watch one of these other videos.